Hey guys, I just opened up this monitor, that Samsung SyncMaster, just to see what was going on. <coughs> and I'm a little bit perplexed. First thing I looked at was the power board here. The caps look good. None of them are bulging or anything. Same with the uh, filter cap down there under the plastic. That one looks great. Caps on here look excellent. No burnt resistors. <laughs> Nothing really to speak of. Even on the bottom. <laughs> Take a look at the main board. These are all solid capacitors. And some chips and stuff. Nothing here looks burnt, to speak of. That doesn't mean there isn't something bad on here, but nothing looks like it blew up. And here's the inverter board. The inverter board doesn't... The inverter board looks a little weird to me. It looks like... It, it looks a little discolored compared to the other boards. Because if you look here, it's green, then there's this black or green. And the thing that worries me the most is uh, right down there. I don't know if you can see it, but down there it looks a little... I don't know what. Focus, damn it. I don't know if you can, this thing doesn't want to focus, <laughs> but it looks, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it looks just like, tingle, it looks a little burnt or something. Not even burnt though, it looks like it just heated up a ton. I don't know if it's natural, I don't know if it's normal for inverter boards to get hot. I think it would be, considering how much voltage goes through them, but I really don't know for sure. <sighs> Strikes me as odd, though. It's just... Let's look at the bottom of this thing. See what I mean? It just... You look at this part of the board, and it just looks darker, and... discolored in certain places, and... Yeah. Looks like this board's been. Looks like this board's heated up at one point. And what? To, and whatever caused it, I have no idea. The capacitor on it's good. It looks good. I'm very perplexed at this point. I'm guessing there's. Uh, I'm guessing this board is just bad in general. Something on the board went bad. Likely that transistor down there just below the capacitor's uh, leads. One of these little uh, transformers went bad. Something in the power supply went bad. Or a chip or a transistor over here went bad. Maybe even one of these solid caps. I don't know at this point. I'm just like, meh. It almost is, it seems to me like it almost isn't worth it to fix it for $30, but I, I don't know yet. I'm Still kind of contemplating on that one. Um, I don't know. The symptoms of this monitor are that you you turn it on, the monitor does turn on this does go into standby mode. When it then it when it tries to go through the self test, it shuts itself off again, and then it just keeps doing that reset loop of what happens over and over again. And I'm not sure why it does either. So. Uh, if any of you have ever seen that with monitors before, let me know. Because it's nothing obvious. There's The caps are good. At least the electrolytics are good. This board looks a little bit discolored, but I'm not sure if that's normal for inverter boards or not, having never worked on a monitor before in my life. Um, it's a Samsung SyncMaster 172N. So if this if there's a common problem with these, somebody t somebody let me know because I want to get this monitor fixed. It's a pretty nice pretty damn nice monitor. So you know, 
Anyhow, uh, that's it for now. So have a good one, everybody. Ciao.